Welcome to lesson three, AI bias. We often think of AI as objective. It's just code and data, right? But here's the truth. AI can be biased, and those biases can show up in the classroom in ways that are hard to spot, but vital to understand. Let's start with what algorithmic bias actually means. It's when an AI system makes unfair decisions, not because it's trying to, but because of how it was built, trained, or used. There are three main sources of bias to be aware of. Training data, where if the data the AI learns from doesn't represent everyone fairly, its outputs won't either. Algorithm design, choices made by developers often unintentionally, can bake in certain perspectives. And finally, deployment context. How and where AI is used matters, and AI that works great in one setting might fail in another. And we've seen AI systems fail or show bias in many ways. AI can prefer resumes with male-coded language, undervalue patients from marginalized communities, or misidentify people of color in facial recognition. And these aren't just technical glitches, they're reflections of broader societal biases. And they remind us that AI doesn't exist in a vacuum. As an educator, that means we need to look closely at the prompts we write, the responses we share, and how we guide students through AI tools. Ask yourself, is this example inclusive? Could this reflect stereotypes? Am I giving space for students to question and critique AI-generated content? Because the risk isn't just about who AI leaves out, but also what kind of worldview it reinforces. AI isn't just reflecting biases, it's also shaping what we see and believe. Recommendation algorithms feed us what we like to see, and that leads to what we call echo chambers, where we're surrounded by voices just like our own, with fewer chances to challenge our thinking. This is like political bubbles, health misinformation, even TikTok sides. It's all driven by algorithms, and it can make the world feel smaller, not broader. And then there's the rise of deep fakes, AI-generated videos and audio that look and sound real, but aren't. They can damage reputations, spread misinformation, and erode trust in what we see and hear, which is why media literacy is more important than ever. The good news? Many of the skills you already teach, like verifying sources, questioning assumptions, and thinking critically are exactly what students need to navigate the AI era. And the better we understand bias in AI, the more thoughtfully we can use it in our classrooms. Let's keep going.